And it's jabbing there from the holy. Nice little left hook there as well. Just need to bring that left hand up. And as you said with Brown with that big dangerous right hand, you don't want to be dragging that left hand low. Brown has been down in Scott Bell Scott Bellshaw in Belfast. Well, he's waiting for the Canadian to commit himself, isn't he? Yeah, just got caught square footed there. Brown to the back foot from the jab from the holy. And it was a legitimate tact. Oh, that's a good shot. Great right hand. Well, what a shot. And Brown has found the punch he wants it through a good distance. I don't think he's going to get up, is he? Well, he does, and steadily, the referee has a close look at him, looked at his corner, and he's got to survive for 45 seconds. And Lucas Brown, having thrown that one big right hand, is now going to go looking for him and looking to finish it here in round two. What a shot. And the whole leap, not surprisingly, a little bit more reticent to get into range. Well, that's the problem. With a big punch, once you've been hurt, it puts you in your shell. And it makes you even more tentative. A nice little left hook there from Baholi, who's just, again, still boxing quite well. Brown looking for any opportunity to throw that big right hand. Couple of good shot, well. Normally, they'd go to the end of the round just to let the corner do their work. And when they take that cloth away and apply a little bit of grease, then we'll see just how bad the cut is. It is indeed on the eyelid, as I suspected. The problem he has with the cut, he, got, he has no guile, does he? <laughs> Brown, there's no head movement, his feet are very slow. And the blood again is flowing into that left eye and is surely affecting his vision. The holy landing a couple of solid shots and he's looking to target that eye as any fighter would. That is an awful cut. Let the fight was stopped before the end of four rounds. And it went to the cards. Now can Brown do something here? He's going for broke and this is his big gamble. He maybe recognises that he's got to stop his man right here and now. Tremendous exchange and Brown is absolutely going for broke. Trying to put the holy out of there. The holy bravely trying to fight back off the ropes. Big right hand again. The holy for a second time. There's the attack again. What a right hand that was. The holy just blinks, but he surely felt the weight of that. And the big attack is coming again now from Brown, clubbing away with that wrecking right hand. And the holy word trying to word that, that left eye with the right hand, trying to punch down on the cut of, of Lucas Brown. But look at this. Down for the third time. How much more can Martel the Holy take? Is he going to get up this time? I don't think so. The fight is all over. 